Okay, so we're recording and we are not sharing screen, but you can turn that on whenever you need to. Indeed. And I can just share to prevent. I need, but yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you can do that. And I have 13 people waiting outside. I'll let them in, right? Yeah, just make me co host. Yeah. And here we go. Where are you? Why don't I see you uh, right now? Okay. Okay, my coast. Okay, you got it. And oh, what? you gotta let you gotta let everybody in now. Yep. Ah, excellent. Hello, everyone. I am uh, muting everyone, but you can all unmute yourselves. Um, my name is Shelly Adderman, and to my kids, I am Ima, and to my students at Town and Village Hebrew School, I am Maura Shelly. Uh, and you guys can just call me Shelly if you like, it's all good. Um, how many of, I'm gonna unmute everyone for a second. Mm. Uh, oh my God, got on. Hang on one second there, I'm asking you guys. Hang on. What? Hi, don't press it. Um, <laughs> So if you are not allowed to do that by yourself, you can take the one up with you and help you to start. Did you say what they're doing? Uh -huh. Yeah, I can do it. Yeah, that would be great. Yeah, that would be We're out of samples, but we are going to essentially be making uh, Coffee, chocolate covered mushrooms. Yummy. Thank you, Ben. I think you said a puppy. Just so that I can hear myself while I'm talking to you. But if you have a question, go ahead and unmute yourself on your own. Um, after this is over, this is my uh, Yom Tov cookbook. This is the recipe that we will be using, and I will have to uh, scan it, and then I can get it to the Riverdale Y hosts, and they can email it to everyone. Um, admit all. Okay. Um, so for now, I am just going to type in the chat what the ingredients are and what everyone's going to um, so just bear with me and then I'll say it as well at the same time. Uh, so we are going to need um, a large baking sheet. Um, admit all. Uh, and we're going to need six Six squares of matzah. We're going to need one cup of butter. One cup brown sugar. 12 ounces or one bag of chocolate chips. And that's it. Uh, and you'll need a pan, a pot. Uh, oopsie, that was to everyone in meeting. Uh, okay. Um, sorry, that went to everyone in the waiting room, not everyone in the meeting. My bad. There we go. Copied and pasted. 
Um, so, uh, oh, I see that you have, a, yes, Sam and Nancy, what's your question? We are making, it's technically called matzah toffee, but yeah. in our house, we call it um, matzah crazy yumminess. Crazy. Basically toffee and chocolate covered matzah, which is amazing. Okay, awesome. So uh, everyone should, I'm going to uh, turn my camera down a little bit uh, so that you can see my stove. Maybe I'll even move my camera around a little bit so that way I can still talk to everyone and you can see what I'm doing. There we go. That's excellent. So what I was doing now, what everyone can do is I am prepping a pan by putting some tin foil on it, okay? So if you guys have a, a pan, um, and also if you just want to watch and not do this now, that's okay too. So when I send the recipe, when I send the uh, recipe out to the Riverdale Y folks, I'll have them send a copy of this video so that way you guys can watch it and do it on your own as well. But if you're doing it now, you definitely want to take your butter out of the fridge so it can get a, a little acclimated to room temperature. So the other thing that we need to do is we are going to turn the oven on to 350. Um, then we're going to get out, um, sorry, that was a little noisy. So then we're going to get out a pan, a pot that we can use, and we're going to put that on the stove. There's some smuts in here, sorry, from the last batch. Uh, you know, I cannot make this. The, so the recipe, Susanna, um, I'm going to be sending the link to the Riverdale Y folks to send out because I have to scan this from my old Yom Tov recipe book and get it out to everyone, but I'll send it to you. Uh, I did put the ingredients in the chat and basically what we're doing is we're going to melt the butter and add some brown sugar and then we're going to put matzah on the pan, cover it in the pan, cover it with the butter and sugar mixture put that in the oven for a little bit, and then pull it out, put the chocolate chips on it, smear it around, and then stick it in the fridge to cool, and then have all kinds of yummy, happy families shortly. Um, but I will, maybe while it's in the oven, uh, I can scan this and send it to um, the Riverdale Y folks. So, um, so the first thing we're going to do is take our matzah, and we're going to put the matzah down on our pan. And what you'll notice is that the matzah, your pan and your matzah doesn't always match up. So that's where, especially those of you who are good at breaking matzah, raise your hand if you're good at breaking matzah. Yeah. So you're going to want to break the matzah so that it fits in the pan. See that? I'm breaking the matzah up and putting it in the pan. Uh, and then you can also just kind of fill in all the little bits and cracks and whatnot because, you know, that's what happens. Uh, so then, once you have your matzah in the pan, oh my gosh, I can't believe I forgot the first rule of cooking. And I'm going to mute everyone because everyone's going to know this answer. Listen, answer the 
There's a big hint. One cup butter, one cup brown sugar. What do I do? Everyone say it with me. Wash your hands. Wash your hands. Wash your hands. Wash your hands. Wash, wash, wash. Washing hands, washing hands. So we're washing our hands before we touch any more food. Okay. Yeah. Are you a craft master? I'm not sure. Okay. Now we're turning it back this way. Mommy, the bacon. Oh, we have to do that. You know, Mika, just go do what you need to. Okay. So now. We are, uh, now I need everyone again. So, oh, sorry. Uh, for those that just joined, we are making um, matzo crunch. And I will, um, I've shared the, uh, I'll put the ingredients. I'll just keep copying them and putting them in the, um, in the chat for everyone. And Sending this to everyone. Oops, Shelly, sorry, this is Nigel. If you want to, when you click on the security icon at the bottom of the screen, you can disable the waiting room so that people can just jump right in. Oh, Yofi, yes. How do I? Uh, yeah, and that way you don't have to look out for them. Okay. Um, manage participants. Let's see, look for my little three dots. Um, Oh yeah, turn that waiting room off. People can just come on in. Great. Okay. Fabulous. So now uh, I have put the ingredients back in the chat to everyone. And I will, while this amazingly yummy matzo crunch is in the oven for like the seven or eight minutes, I'll send the link to the Riverdale Y people and then they can send it to all of you. Oh, it's yeah, because you know it's distracting me. Now I'm muting everyone again. Uh, and what I'm going to do now that we've all washed our hands, I am turning my pot on. Oh, she keeps seeing the matzies. Yeah, she's breaking it. So I'm the butter. Oh, you're not you're not muted. And I'm taking the butter. I'm taking two sticks of butter, and I am plopping them into my pan. Smooth yourself. Okay. And if you have a wooden spoon, that's your best bet to use. Not good. Unmuted. Okay. No, I'm just doing the regular. Um, I need uh, one, one cup of good brown sugar. So if you have dark brown sugar, here, I can this up a little bit. There we go. So I'm now melting the butter and I'm turning the heat to medium so that it doesn't melt too quickly. And we're going to add to our one cup of butter, we're going to add one cup of brown sugar. And we are melting the butter and the brown sugar together and it's going to become an ooey gooey yummy hot and sticky mess which is really the whole point of fun yumminess, right? Thumbs up. Butter and sugar, you can't go wrong. So it's one cup of butter, one cup of brown sugar that you put in a pan. Of course, if I had a professional, uh, I do have a portable, this is what it's melting looking like now. If I had the professional kitchen, you know, if we weren't all on home lockdown here, <laughs> I could have all of the screens, uh, all of the cameras going. Uh, and my fabulous assistant, my daughter Malka, who has made this on her own a few times already, because we go through it so quickly, is going to dump the brown sugar into the pot for me. That's a half cup. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. Okay, so there's half a cup. So we've added in half a cup and we're mixing, 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 which is the fun part. And then we have another half cup coming. And the key is to continually stir this. So 
So you want all the lumps out and you are dissolving. That's a fun word. You are dissolving. Just a moment, Sam and Nancy. I see your hand up. Um, you are dissolving the sugar into the butter. Um, so hold on. I'm going to let me do this. You I, I'm coming to unmute you, sweetie. Hold on. Okay, you can unmute yourself. Okay. Yeah, you have to unmute yourself. Go ahead, Sam and Nancy. What was your question? Did you add the chocolate chips yet? No, the chocolate chips have not been added yet. Right now, um, right now we are stirring the butter and sugar together, the brown sugar and the butter. Oh my gosh, is that Omer? Noah Matan! Noah Matan! Oh, okay, just a heads up, Omer. My second assistant. Say hi. Here's Omer! Right, Matan! doesn't like to cook the matzah crunch, but he loves to eat it. <laughs> Out. Good. <laughs> I'm going to, um, to bring the camera over back to this to show you what it looks like right now. As you can see, the sugar is starting to dissolve into the butter. You want to keep stirring it uh, until it's really well blended. So while Malka is stirring, I'm going to type the recipe into the chat to make it a little easier. That way we don't have to around the mulberry bush because it's a good thing to oh yeah it's starting to change this is chemistry you guys you guys are getting chemistry without even realizing it see that the texture of the butter and sugar is starting to change we're gonna let it keep going until it gets bubbly for a few minutes we're gonna let it boil for like two or three minutes so um so i'm gonna send this to everyone so put one cup butter and one cup brown sugar into pot. Stir, stir, stir until boiling. Then stir for two to three more minutes. Then, oops, I added an extra N in minutes, please forgive me. Then uh, you break your sick your matza break your matza up into pan cover the matza with the butter and sugar mixture x t u r e when complete put pan in oven for 7 minutes or so, pull out, sprinkle choco, chocolate chips on, let rest for three minutes. I'll send a more formal recipe, but this is essentially how you do it. Um, uh, after three minutes, smear the chocolate chips around to melt stick pan in fridge for 30 minutes don't worry about it break for 30 minutes pull out from fridge break it up try to keep it for more than one day okay so we are now at the point oh, I'm going to show you guys this. It's looking so awesome. Yes. So this is right now what the butter sugar is looking like. See it bubbly and all mixed together? Yum! So I'm going to get the pot holders and we're going to turn the stove off. And we are then going to pour. I'm going to lower the camera so you guys can see kind of what we're doing here. Okay. There. 
So I'm going to literally pour this butter sugar mixture over our waiting matzot. Oh, it's okay. It's all good. Then I'm going to use this spoon to smear it all over the place. And the hard part is trying to get it all the way into all of the corners and all of the edges because who wants to have a piece of yummy matzah toffee that's not covered on the edges? I know I don't. I know I want, I want all of my parts covered here. Okay, then there's another little dot there. Then we're going to put, put this tray into the oven for seven minutes. So we have preheated to 350 degrees. And so now I have the light on. So now it's in the oven and what's it, the sugar butter is going to change again. And now we have a few minutes for me to answer some questions. And I'm going to prep my bag of chocolate chips and open them so that when I pull those out, it'll be ready, ready, ready. I also have, no, we are not. This is, this is also, I'm sure everyone has your lovely bag of kosher for Passover marshmallows sitting around somewhere. Or if you are not allergic to nuts, you could sprinkle some nuts on as well. But the first thing that will happen, oh, I see a lot of stirring and, and zhuzhing there. That's great. So uh, while we're waiting, I'm going to unmute everyone and ask how people are doing. Ask if you are watching and learning or if you're doing this in process. And if you- Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go, go wash it out of the water. That looks like applesauce. Just go wash it out of the water. Oh, is it looking like applesauce? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I see some active stirring going on in the oh, I hope that that's okay. Go ahead and run. Sam and Eat the chocolate chips now. So, <laughs> I take it that you like chocolate chips. Is that true? Yeah. yeah. So, you know, in our house, we definitely have a no, room. Yeah, no. No, no, no. I don't sprinkle them yet, but I do have the bag open. So you may need to taste one to make sure that it's not poison, right? Right? It's not poison. The chocolate chips are going to be after, in the next three minutes or so, after we pull it out of the oven. I'm going to check on it and see how oh, it's looking good. Um, yeah, we're letting the sugar butter spread into gorgeous bubbly toffee. Um, and I'll share a picture of what it's looking like so far. Oh my God. See? Look at that yummy, yummy. You need like three more minutes. And then Sam and Nancy, we will be putting the chocolate chips on. Don't you worry. Um, the great thing that you can do. Um, what is the pan that you were using in the sink to wash it when you're done? Cleaning up is always a good part of cooking. Cooking? I didn't put this open. Get in my bag. Almost another minute or two, and then I'm going to pull it out of the oven. And then we're going to do. Did somebody have a question? Are we doing okay? 
Awesome. The biggest challenge with matzah toffee, matzah crunch, is um, having it last for more than one day. Because in our house, it does not last very long at all. It's very, very yummy. Okay, I'm going to, uh, let's see, I think, oh yeah, there we go. Now it's looking, now it's doing exactly what I want it to do. I'm going to turn this camera around. Um, and Sam and Nancy, this is gonna be the part you've been waiting for. I am going to take, I need this, oh, it's okay, I need another one. I am, so you see how it's like all nice and bubbly. Now I'm taking the entire bag of chocolate chips and I am sprinkling it all over Coffee. Yes. Now here's the hard part. Do nothing and wait. See if you can watch and see. You're going to see the chocolate chips start to melt. No, they're melting in. Yeah, exactly. And then if we give it, like you can see them melting, right? So if we give it just another minute, they will be melty enough. The whole screen. That when we put the spoon to it, it'll smear them all around, which is amazing. I know it's looking like some parts are more. Oh, look at that! See, it's just turning into delicious, smeary chocolate as I work my way down. The matz tray. Ooh, yummy. Oh yeah. This is gonna be a good batch, I can tell. And, and I think all of your kids are gonna like it. You don't think all of my kids will like it? You said I think they're Yeah. This is like the 95th millionth batch I've made this pace up. Um, so then once all of this wonderful, yummy, melty chocolate, you save a little bit on the spoon because, you know, you might have to lick that when it's cooler. You can also take from, uh, not everyone wants the s'more effect, right? So, uh, so I'm only going to, on a little section, I'm going to sprinkle some of my Pesadic marshmallows on just a little section here. So that way, if somebody does like the s'more effect, they can have the s'more effect by having added some marshmallows to it. And so now we have one end of the tray, one small little end of the tray with the marshmallows and they'll melt a little bit too. And then we have, now all we have to do is clear a spot in the fridge so that we can put the whole thing in the fridge so that it'll get cool. All right. Now this, this is hot, so we're going to use our pot holders because safety first. So I'm gonna lift this. See, there it is with the chocolate and the marshmallows. Yum! And I'm literally putting it in the fridge and then I'm going to leave it alone for 30 minutes. So those of you that are making this at home, leaving it alone for 30 minutes is the hardest part. And there's another secret for when we have, um, there's another secret for the reason that we have the tin foil. So when that time is done, you can, and I think this part can be the most fun for some of our younger friends, you can literally lift the whole tin foil out and lift it high 
and then drop it on the counter and the matzah toffee will break. And then with clean hands, of course, you can then break, help continue to break it up, put it in a Ziploc baggie and stick it in the fridge and you're good to go. Oh, you're, yeah, exactly. Just like you demonstrated. Boom. How many of you guys like matzah pizza? Raise your hand. Yay. So here's another fun thing that we can do. And these are all things, cause you know, sometimes we buy the, um, you know, the 12 pack of, of matzot. And so this is an easy one that we can all do as well. So I like to take, um, just a little touch of oil on one of the quesadic pans that we all have to, not all of us, some of us happen to have. And we just take a little oil and put it on the bottom. And And you can leave your oven on from earlier and you will be set. Um, so originally we had our ovens at 350 for the matzah toffee. And if your matzah toffee is done, you can turn your oven up to 400 and something. So, and I'm just gonna write now, whoops. now we're on to matzah pizza. And there's really no recipe for this other than, so I've taken my matzah and I have one of the little temporary pans that many of us use. And I've just taken two pieces and broken the rest up to fill the bottom. And then you take your favorite You take your favorite pesadic tomato sauce out of a jar from the fridge and you literally sprinkle it on. So I've literally sprinkled the sauce onto the matzah and I'm smearing it around. As you guys can see for Pesach, for a lot of these recipes, there's a lot of smearing. Smearing is a good thing to do. So I'm trying to cover every bit because the tomato sauce is what is going to uh, help soften the matzah a little bit. Then, and by now, oh yeah. Um, your spoon that you smeared the chocolate with should be nice and cool. Yum, 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 yum. So make sure that you, uh, or your assistant, make sure that you let them help clean the spoon. Then, then you take your uh, favorite mozzarella cheese and you sprinkle the mozzarella cheese on top of. Now I like a lot of cheese, but my kids don't like so much cheese. So I'm making one side of the pizza lighter and one side with more cheese. So as you can see, I put more cheese on this side and less cheese on that side. And you can also, um, it's a good way to get rid of some of your Seder leftovers. Like if you have some extra vegetables from your Seder, you could chop them up and add to it. But we are, we've just finished using up, oh, we've just finished using up all of our Seder leftovers. So I am going to just put this in as it is in the oven and I'm going to set a timer 
for nine minutes. And that's all there is to it when you're making matzo pizza. It is so yummy. Um, I want to unmute people and ask if they have questions or if there's. Uh, do you want to speak to her, or do you want to just? Want to, what do you want to do? Someone's phone is going off. Does anyone have questions or? Uh, need to be talked through any of the steps. Um, yes, Sarah. Can I, can I leave the meeting now? <laughs> you absolutely can. There's your matzo pizza and your matzo toffee. Thank you all so much for coming. Ask her if she'll send us the recipe. Can you send us the recipe? I'll send you the recipes for both, not to worry. I'll send and them along. It looked really good. Oh, I'm so glad you liked it. Yeah, we can't wait to eat it. I love cooking. Yay, cooking, it's fun. Sorry, will, will you send it to which email? Like, uh, I'm gonna send it to uh, the Riverdale Live folks. Um, and they'll send it along to... Um, like the... Li so I can jump in here, sorry. I, we, if, once we get that from you, Shelly, and this is Nigel from the Y, we will have a lot of resources and we'll try to make them available on that same page, riverdalewives.org slash cat. So whatever recordings or, or other recipes we have, we'll share them there. Okay. It just turns out that my wife made matzah chocolate toffee last <laughs> night 